OK, and this is the last question on the paper. We are told that WXYZ is a trapezium. Therefore, we know it has two parallel sides, namely, must be this one and this one. We're told that W to Z, to get from W to Z, is T in that direction. It's very important, the direction. And to get from W to X is S. We are told that the distance between Z and Y, the distance between Z and Y, uh, to the distance between W and X is 3 to 2. Now just think about what that means, it's quite straightforward. This distance here, if that is 3, that is 2. This distance is always 1.5 times that distance. Okay? All right, so therefore, the vector to get from Z to Y, which is the first question, okay, is 1.5 times longer. You can see it's longer, so it's 1.5 times the vector going in that direction, which is s. So write the vector in terms of s is simply 1.5 s. Or some of you might like to write that as 3 over 2 s. Now, here's the, the sort of supposedly trickier bit. Work out the vector from x to y. So you want to go from x to y. So x to y, what direction would we go? Well, we certainly go from x to w to here, and then we go from w to z, and then we go from z to y. And it's just a case of adding these up. x to w is going in this direction, so it's negative s. w to z is in the right direction, so it's plus t. And z to w, well, we've already done this, this is plus 1.5 s. OK, now we've got negative uh, whole s, add one and a half s's, we have a half s, and we've got plus t. So the answer, we, you may write like it like this, a half s plus t is our final answer, and it's the last question on the paper, and it actually wasn't too bad at all.